All right, everyone. You know, it's not a good time when the hood's up on the old truck. But uh, it's nothing serious, so... We're going to be making a scrap run here today in uh, the 2013 uh, F-150. I had to lubricate this steering shaft here. I looked online and my steering was getting really like notchy and like hard to steer. So I lubricated it. I only have WD-40, which probably ain't the best thing to use. But that knuckle right there, see how rusty it is? That U-joint gets uh, messed up and it causes... Um, causes the steering to get very um just very like dead weighty feeling and it's like notchy and like it has you turning but i lubricated it this morning but i went and picked this stuff up yesterday i haven't put a video out because uh i've been hurting lately and i um, not gonna lie last sunday and monday i was in the hospital with kidney stones so was not feeling too hot and um yeah, I was in pain all week, but I still worked it out, and we you know, managed to get a lot of stuff done. But we cleaned a bunch of air conditioners, a bunch of electric motors, starters. I already took some electric motors out of here. There's some in there. But I got a little bit of brass, a little bit of copper from the air conditioners. I'm going to cut these tires off with the Sawzall today. Not the ideal thing to do, but at least... Uh, you know, you can get them off if you have a Sawzall. They cut really easy if you got a good Sawzall blade. My daughter went and cut all the ends off my wire. So when I'm ready to process that, that toter's still full. That's full of wire. So I got these four cans of wire. And so here's the sealed units from the air conditioners. Me and Lunchbox did the other day. Not that much load of tin. It's probably 1,500 pounds here. But uh, more electric motors. And this toter here is full of wire too. That uh, my buddy John gave me. So I have a decent amount of that wire. I'm hoping to get 2,000 pounds or so before I go to bring it in. But I'm going to be loading this stuff up. Making a load to the scrap here. I got 4th of July coming next week. And I got back-to-back -back camping trips. So, you know, I got to make sure I can get as much done even though I'm not feeling good. I don't wish kidney stones on anybody. I'll be honest with you. The pain from that put me down, man. I'm a pretty strong dude and I'm, I'm pretty resilient. But that hurt. And they come in like spurts of like attacks. Like four or five minutes of just excruciating pain and then it, it dulls down. I don't wish it on anybody, but, I mean, what am I to do? I can't, I can't help it if my health is kind of going crappy. I'm very healthy otherwise, but, you know, it's always got to be something. But we're going to get this stuff going. I'll head to the scrapyard. I brought a lot of stuff into um, to Stanton's over in Scranton. We brought a bunch of aluminum and a bunch of copper and stuff in. Uh, not copper. A bunch of aluminum, extruded aluminum. And uh, some aluminum wheels and stuff yesterday. Got rid of most of the pile, but there's still a huge pile here. I didn't cut those tires off. Um, so I brought that stuff in, and it was a little over $900. So even though I've been hurting and I've been um, um, you know, just still working, even though I'm hurting, it just doesn't, I just don't, I never stop. You know, I got to do it while I can, but... All right, we're gonna go to the, we're gonna go to Weissman's first. Let me flip this. So we're gonna head to Weissman's, Ben Weissman's of Scranton, and get rid of this load of stuff first, tin, and then everything else that you'll see in the back of the truck here in a minute. We're gonna do a little time flash. All right, made it to the scrapyard. We're gonna be dumping our tin off here. Well, let me pull on the scale, make sure I'm not hitting anything. Check my mirrors. I know this load of tin is not really that heavy. We weigh 10,340. I'd say we got about 1,800 to, to 1,800 pounds to a ton. So we'll see what this is and then we'll get rid of the good stuff. All right, we're done unloading. So we weighed, uh, weighing out, we weigh uh, 8,780. It's kind of, it's getting, it's busy here. I don't know if it's just because of holiday weekend or what, but it's kind of nuts. 
All right, we made it to Stanton Auto Recycling here. This is the new place I've been bringing all my copper, brass, aluminum, aluminum wheels, copper, or, or electric motors, sealed units, copper aluminum fins. He's paying the most right now, and he seems like a really nice guy. I dealt with the son Aiden a lot, and he's pretty cool. So I brought a bunch of stuff here yesterday. So he said I'm allowed to film, but I'm going to talk to him first before I go in. Wait.
got the 12 pounds, right? All right, so we had 1,540 pounds of tin. There he goes on the forklift. Whee! Um, we had $146 at Weissman's for a load of tin on the trailer. And now here was the big one. I'm not going to go over everything, but if you guys want to pause the video and see what everything weighed, dirty brass, number one, or number two copper, ACRs. Had almost 600 pounds of sealed units, 100 pounds of aluminum wheels, or I'm sorry, 110 pounds of aluminum wheels. We made $988, along with uh, $921. See this? The slip was from yesterday. $921. And we had a load of tin also. So, yeah, um, even though I was sick this week, we managed to pull it together. Uh, like almost a, almost a $3,000 week with the two loads of tin plus you know what i made the last two days um it it was a pretty good week even though being sick like a 25 so i made 3700 last week 3600 last week and i made 20 like 25 2600 this week um not bad not two not bad weeks and i still have a bunch more of aluminum to do and my big trailer still loaded with tin and i have to go pick stuff up on the way back so all right so i want to uh, give a shout out to stanton's here I'm going to post at the end of the video uh, the price sheet, uh, have their phone number and everything. If you have any questions, you can call them. They were amazing, and it's a new person. I'm starting to bring my uh, – they buy air conditioning coils. They buy uh, – um, I'm sorry, air compressors, alternators, starters. You know, they buy converters. They buy a bunch of stuff. So, you know, you guys are in the Scranton area, and you're looking, wondering who's, you know, buying stuff. And, you know, they, they're really nice people, and it's a small – uh, family run business and stuff so I'm giving them a shout out they're my shout out for the month and I'm bringing them a lot of stuff a lot of material and they've been they've been good to me already and they, they've uh, helped me out and they buy computer scrap also they buy um, uh, the boards the boards from computers the green boards and stuff the computer chips the processors they buy all that stuff too so if you got e-waste man they're the guys to call and he's one of the highest paid around on that stuff too i've looked into the prices because it's one of the things i'm going to start doing but all right guys i'll see you in the next middle remember to like comment and subscribe and at the end of the video there will be the price sheet i'll post but what i also want to ask you guys is um I was thinking about a question to ask you guys, and I want to know what trucks are you guys running to do scrap with? You're using older trucks, you're using newer trucks, you're using vans, using minivans. What 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 do you use to get your scrap metal? What pickup truck brand? You know, put in there the mileage and whatever else. You know, any um any other tips you can help out? If we all comment and we give tips to each other, and you guys can look through, and you know. It just helps out us and the community and the scrapping community and everything as a whole. You know, we got we, us guys, you know, uh, not everybody has a nice big truck or two trucks and a bunch of stuff. So, all right, guys. So any comments you guys leave, man, just make sure they're good comments and they're, you know, any tips, any tricks or anything you guys have, man, just uh, leave it in the comment section below. This way people can look and find it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, guys.